Hello everyone, it's Adam here. Uh, this is my license plate on the GS and we're going to be installing a, um, a stash box. This is uh, sold by Twisted Throttle. I don't know if that's actually um, their product. They're not even branding it. Uh, dry spec, but um, so here it is. Just going to make sure this is in frame here. Yeah, so we have uh, some included hardware. Looks like iCubed-Online.com makes this. we got some keys. Uh, it comes with the key and the lock cylinder, which you have to install yourself. And uh, it should be watertight, but uh, I'm going to end up storing... Yeah, there's a little bit of a film here. I'm going to end up storing the... Um, uh, just stuff in here that, that isn't um, going to get water damaged. So if I do some store paper in here, it'll end up getting put into a Ziploc bag or something. Uh, a little extra security over... I mean, it's, it, it's less... It's not theft proof, obviously, but uh, it's more security than the um, the front box on the GSA where I put my keys and things. It's going to be more secure than that. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and remove the little license plate here because it's going to require some uh, some drilling. It's going to go right there. Pretty much non-obtrusive though. It's not going to be in the way. No one's really going to notice it's there, but I'll know it's there, and it'll be nice for a little extra storage. All right, let's remove the um, stock plate here. All right, well, that's a cl nice close-up of my beard. <laughs> uh, okay, so we're installing the um, the lock cylinder. It says with the key in the lock, so that's in. Got our bolt here. I'm just going to go ahead and get that started. Oh, sorry, you can't even see. I got that through the front there. I'm just going to get this at least threaded, and then uh, I'll twist it to, to get it to fit into the right spots there. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pause and put some Loctite on this thing here, because this is going to rattle loose eventually. All right, so got it in there. It's locked up right here. You can just uh, turn this. stays locked. Open it back up. Um, on the lock here, I use some uh, medium Loctite. Really tighten it down there, and then uh, use some pliers to get it really tight, so it's not moving at all. Well, this is, but the actual base isn't moving at all. Okay, so we got that done. Next step, ah, I got it, okay. So they are really these ones up here, these two at the top here. So it came with some hardware. Came with, uh, let's open it up, see. Whew. Like this, the key on the outside, it's gonna go just like that. When you open it up, you're given the, uh, basically what corresponds to, um, the two top ones here correspond to these two holes here. So let's get to screwing or drilling. I'm not using a flat surface here. It says use a quarter inch. Okay, so now this is fully mounted here. Uh, you know, it appears that they put guide holes in the very bottom too. So um, just for added stability, I may grab a couple more of these uh, screws and drill into the bottom as well at a later date. But uh, it does close up. So let's just get that closed there. You know, it's not moving. Uh, you can have the two keys. It's not moving around very much. We've got our, uh, our license plate that we're gonna now reinstall. These guys here are not compatible with the stash box. Uh, and you can see here on a lift up that even though it does reach all the way through now, um, well, I guess you can't see all the way through. Basically, you've got these little humps here. So these little pins in the very tops. Uh, these are meant for the small included screws to drill into. So I'll show here with a, a Phillips head screwdriver. So it goes into the plastic and it stays there. Uh, and that's going to be fine. That's going to work, right? Although on this bottom right hand one, I already drilled with the quarter inch drill um, into there. So that one is now um, compromised because now there's a, obviously a little putty or something. You can put a, a piece of water, you know, a spray of water right in there. So now the, the waterproofness of the stash box is compromised, so nothing. So, um, I mean, no, okay, it's not going anywhere, right? Um, but I've got some putty in here now to seal it up, uh, and I can't use these guys, which I, I think these guys are great. I mean, they're, they're little reflectors, so they, they have a little bit of visibility extra in there. Um, and I do uh, eventually plan on doing the, uh, the Billy brake light, 
and um, we're just gonna add more weight to the stash box. So this guy's unlocked here. You know, you got space in there. There's the the weight, and honestly, it's a pla you know, it's it's molded plastic, right? So it's nice in concept, but as you open this repeatedly, you're gonna have eventually this is gonna become very weak and uh, you know break off. So it's one less, one more thing on your bike that you can uh, break. So convenience on day one, uh, I'd give it a five out of ten. Um, you know, it gets a little bit extra space to put things into. Uh, the fact that it removes some reflectivity, which I appreciated before, because I have no reflectivity on the back of the bike. I mean, I've got these guys that I added up here to the, the reflecting the top hard case, but I've got no more reflectivity on the bottom except this little tiny DOT strip right there. So I kind of liked having those four little circular things. So, you know, I'd give it a, a, a 1 out of 10 for, uh, you know, safety, 5 out of 10 for convenience. As far as long-term longevity, I mean, the, the, the locks aren't even like kind of a, a, a aluminum, so you're getting the plastic, so the plastic bench is going to degrade. Um, i say this is a nice way to keep your registration on you and locked into a case without anyone really bothering it, but I'm thinking about taking it off. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to keep it on the bike, uh, and obviously I can't return it now because I've already drilled into it, but uh, I just find... I just find this to be a little bit, eh, eh, you know. Uh, and I, I'm guessing what I could do is I can deconstruct these little reflectivity things with, and get longer, um, longer bolts on them. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll come to the Amazon seller and see if they can make longer ones of these. If they can make longer ones of these. I could put a little bit of putty on the inside here, on these little guys here. Yeah, I mean, there's just a straight hole in there now. So I would say, you know, what's happening too when you're riding in the rain is, is you're pulling water behind you, mist. So eventually this is going to be full of water. So there's really no waterproofness. If there wasn't any waterproofness before, there's none now. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel any regrets about drilling into it. Um, I guess I could have done a little bit extra work to go, well, this isn't going to fit down through there because the... You know, it's not going to be long enough, but, oh well. Um, yeah, I'll keep it on for a little bit. I'll keep it on for a little bit. It's, it's all right for now. I'm just, I feel like just, I mean, I feel like eventually it's just going to rattle loose. And I'm not really too worried about this third screw here. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, you know, you have to really bend on it to make it, to make that happen. But also, it's not like... It moves, but there's no fat connectivity. Level. I wish they had come with four back plated screws, and then the front had been a little bit more um, accessible to to these kind of accessories. Which I, I really like these things a lot. I know they look stupid, but I like having the extra reflectivity on the back of the bike. Well, thanks for watching. Easy install video. Now you guys are aware of kind of the shortfall. The things to really keep in mind when you're doing this. Um, it's a cool mod if you need extra space for your uh, license and registration, maybe an extra house key, that kind of thing. But other than that, it's, uh, it's a piece of plastic for $25. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and uh, appreciate it.